It's been almost a year since Poland's Kristen Fox was diagnosed with the flu, and complications led to her arms and legs being amputated. Today, Kristen is moving forward to a somewhat normal life, and for that, she's being recognized by a Pittsburgh hospital and a former NFL player. With the new developments, First News anchor Stan Boney joins us live in the studio. Well, in mid-December, Kristen Fox traveled to a UPMC facility in Pittsburgh because former Steeler Ryan Shazier had named her one of his 50 phenoms, 50 being the number Shazier wore while he was a Steeler. She left with an autographed number 50 Shazier jersey. Ryan Shazier and Kristen Fox sat in a UPMC studio in Pittsburgh and talked about her journey over the past year. My kids are only seven and nine. And so, like, to have their mom at all was better than to grieve my death. The interview was edited into a four and a half minute story and posted on UPMC social media sites. Ryan Shazier went through something similar as Kristen. Four years ago, he suffered a spinal injury while making a tackle and had to relearn how to walk. So, when they took your, your legs at first, did you know that they were going to do that? No, I was in a medically induced coma. So my husband, my um, mom and dad, my brother and sister, and my best friends had to like come together and make that decision. They talked about Kristen's recovery, showing video of the rehabilitation process with her new prosthetic arms and legs. I'm going to get back to me, but I'm always going to need a little bit of assistance, yeah. and um, I'm accepting that. They talked about the high points, but they also talked about the low ones. Would you talk to me a, a little bit about what was the lowest point of this whole journey? Um, probably not seeing my kids for that long. My husband had to be the one to tell them, you know, without me what happened. And they wheeled me out of the hospital. I saw my kids for the first time in nine weeks for 10 minutes. Like it was, you know, my son was bawling and then I cried then, like seeing them and like, I was like, that's it. Like I, I will walk again. I also talked with the UPMC doctor who led Kristen's rehabilitation. That part of her story tonight on First News at 10 and 11. Live in the studio, Stan Boney, WKVN 27 First News.